In defense of Confused Matthew, I thought that I should make a video response to both Quantum Joker and um, Paparina's responses, as well as Chase Meldez's responses to Confused Matthew's 2001 review. Now, in all fairness, one must not just look at uh, the review, but one needs to know a little bit more about Confused Matthew. And I, having a little bit more insight than the average person, might be able to illuminate this. Now, in his frequently asked questions, they uh, the question is, why is he Confused Matthew? And his answer is that he's not confused how he feels about the movies. What is he confused about is how the films became successful. So I think that it's just important for us to keep that in mind. It, huh. This is kind of interesting. Chase uh, apparently is an atheist. You know, when I was doing Infinite Hope videos, I would often speak to and towards atheists, and I'd have lots of videos about them. It was like my main focus on Infinite Hope. I mean... You know, I'm a Christian and I want to reach out and... Wait a minute. This is... Hmm. You know, Quantum Joker is also an atheist. Huh, that's kind of a weird coincidence. I kind of wondered, is there some sort of weird connection between atheism and loving 2001? Nah, that can't be. Well, let me just rewatch 2001 again. Wait a minute. In the very opening sequence... They show evolution, and as you know, all creationists are against evolution, and then it shows that weird black monolith. Black s symbolizes sin and death, and mono, monotheism. Of course, the movie is telling us that evolution replaces monotheism. It's all true. It all makes sense. That's why atheists like this movie, and people of religion don't. Hit the red button, it's time to panic! Panic, 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 panic! Oh no, the world will end this time for sure. Oh no, oh no.